Let us take some sample problems on speed and distance. These will kind of just help you to understand certain concepts better. Okay? So let's say for example, we tell you that a ball was hit and is traveling at speed of 72 kilometers an hour, right? How much distance would it cover in 10 seconds? This is one of the very simplest and the easiest of the question. The only thing is you know that you are given kilometer per hour here and seconds here, right? So whenever you are given these kind of things, what you need to do is convert this into meter per second. And we all know how to do that, right? To in order to convert kilometers per hour into meter per second, what we do is we multiply the kilometer per hour by 5 upon 18 and it becomes meter per second. 18 goes into 72 four times, 4 times 5 will give you 20. So 20 meter per second. This is the distance which the ball covers in one second, meter per second. And how many seconds do we need to find out? We need to find it out for 10 seconds. So 20 into 10 or 200 meters. Simple. The idea was just to give you a sense that, you know, how do you calculate this? Now, if instead of this, you would have had that, okay, the ball covers um, 60 meters per second, okay? Find out the distance it covers in kilometers in two hours. So if it is 60 meter per second, this means you have to convert it into kilometers per hour. So for that, you multiply 60 by what? 18 by 5, right? 5 goes into 60 how many times? 12. 12 times 18 will give you 180 plus 36, 216. 216 kilometers. So 216 kilometers per hour. So the ball travels 216 kilometer in one hour. So in two hours, how much it will travel? 216 into two, or sorry, 432 kilometers, right? So that's basically how you compute kilometers per hour or meter per second, right? Another very common type of questions that are given are in relation to trains. I've given the heading train and let's take it as ball also. Okay? The length of a train is 200 meter and it travels at 25 meter per second okay right at this speed it crosses another station in 20 seconds okay find the length of the station now the thing to be noted here is that the length of the train is 200 meter okay and the station which is here is we don't know let's call it as x this train is traveling at 25 meter per second right and it takes 20 seconds for it to cross the platform so what's the total distance which the train will cover in this 20 second it's traveling at 25 meter per second so in 20 seconds how much does it cover it covers 25 into 20 or 500 meters right once it has covered 500 meter, okay, out of this 500 meter, basically the distance which the train will cover 
is going to be the length of the train itself plus the length of the platform which we what we have decided as x so we know that x plus 200 is equal to 500 or x is equal to 500 minus 200 or 300 meter hence the length of the platform is 300 meter right because the train is going to completely cross the station once it starts moving let's say like this until and unless the end point of the train crosses right and once this crosses this so the total distance the train is traveling from is from here until here right 